thank you, Brotherhood. You've been helping helping me a lot in this uh, on this channel. So shout out to you. You're totally the best. Oh, it's good now. Teenagers stop on their phones because they're always on their phones like that. But you think it will be good for for them so that they won't use internet and maybe look on the bright side and start drawing and writing but no some other important stuff rely on the internet like say goodbye to online shopping though and say goodbye to online games play store hi guys well, welcome to my channel. So, thank you, Brotherhood. You've been helping helping me a lot in this uh, on this channel. So, shout out to you. You're totally the best. Now we shall start the what if questions. First up, what if there's no internet? Well. You'll think it's good, like, oh, it's good now. Teenagers stop on their phones because they're always on their phones, like that. But consequences will happen, not just that. You think it will be good for, for them so that they won't use internet and maybe look on the bright side and start drawing and writing. But no. Some other important stuff rely on the internet, like ATM banking systems. How will the ATM give you money? Through online stuff. Say goodbye to online shopping though. Mm. And say goodbye to online games. Play store. Not just that. Air Airplanes would get lost and cannot find their way because they, they don't have the control system because these towers, uh, thingy, the airplane towers, they use Wi-Fi to communicate with planes. If they don't have Wi-Fi, the plane will get lost until it has no fuel. It will just die off into the ocean unless it finds the landing destination by chance or maybe it will land to another country uh, say goodbye to gps now we're using the local maps the maps the traditional maps no more gps so satellites are useless plus Will be ha will be have to be sending messages by paper, writing it, putting it into the mail and the envelope, closing it and dropping it to the mail station for the mailman to throw uh, put it in the mailbox. So life would still continue, but. It's a bit harder. What if, now our second is what if there was no moon in our planet? <laughs> well, there will be still nights and days because the earth rotates. Basically, for starters, the moon is what is the natural satellite of earth. These satellites with the solar panels and the suck energy and blah 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 yeah those are natural satellites not like that yeah it's moon the sat the moon is the satellite of earth and earth and the other planets are the satel satellite of the sun crazy right but it's true from nasa me. There will be lots of effects, low tidal forces, and you know, nights will become more darker. So moving on to number three, 
What if we only Earth has half of its gravity? Oh, that's just silly. You mean, uh, so you're probably asking half of the gravity? If Earth had half of only its gravity, it would be the equal of Mars. Our organs, like our stomach, heart, and lungs, rely on gravity. So if it only had half, our heart, well, because our organs work against gravity. How? <laughs> it wouldn't be a good thing, considering your hearts, your hearts will slow down because gravity has changed around it. This building, I, you can jump twice as high as your normal jump. Everything comes down. Well, there would be also effects. The Earth will just split in half. What I mean, if it has half of its gravity, it would be the equal gravity of Mars. And Mars is held together. With that much gravity force on a small planet of Mars, well, on Earth, it will just split in half if it's the gravity of Mars. It will just like, gone in half so wouldn't be a good idea considering earth is held by gravity or what if i stepped on the last to nail ouch that hurts well most likely what we all will get is tetanus one step Rusty nail pierced in your skin, like it would usually be. It will, this virus will start releasing toxins that attacks your brain and suppress, suppresses nerve, nerve activity. And that causes you having a seizure. That's all, yeah. That's why you shouldn't be footless in the streets everyone has shoes so but still be careful of what you're stepping on because shoes can be also pierced one time in school when i was walking to my bus i stepped on a rusty nail but it it was just pierced my What's that? Shoe? But the rubber in the shoe is so hard that the nail can't even pierce in it. I got so scared. So I just ran into the bus. My father removed the nail. And it was pretty nasty. So, moving on to number five. What if you only drank milk for a diet? Don't try this at home. This is very dumb if you try this at home. No, don't try this at home. So, what will happen if I only drink milk? Well, you think that drinking all milk would make you strong and your bones resistant to even the hardest and harshest things, like uh, the harshest environments, but no. What will happen to you is your kidneys here will get kidney stones from calcium deposits or maybe calcium overload your body can't handle it this is a good lesson for you all too much of good things can be bad you remember that what happens if you have no stomach well we'll be likely living yeah you think getting your stomach removed will be dead those patients who have stomach ulcers or cancer will only remove a part of their stomach the one with the cancer only or the one the whole freaking stomach well if the whole freaking stomach is removed they will they will combine the esophagus and the small intestines pipeline to you know 
fuse and then that's where the food goes. It's normal. It's pretty nasty what will happen. So after surgery is done, you'll, you'll only need some little diet. Maybe like olives, like what I'm eating. Without the stomach, the stomach stores food. While well, the intestine can do the same, but if there's too much food in it, ah, you won't feel good anymore. You'll have an uh, upset, the upset version of the intestine. That's all ha what I have to tell you. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I. I like you all. You have to get 800 subscribers. Why am I, you know, the putol putol? Well, sometimes being silent, I'm chewing on these olives that are so sweet. They're so tasty. That's why I stopped. I stopped for a minute to spit the seeds there. So, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. Don't, and guys, don't forget this advice, the, the advices that I told you throughout the video. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.